Hello guys, my name is Marcin and welcome in another Photoshop tutorial. Today is very simple and quick tutorial. As you see, it looks like kinda autumn tutorial with this uh, with this soft but warm color. So as I said, it's very simple effect, but I like it and I hope you guys enjoy it as well. So at first, I want to start with selective color. Here you have colors, uh, and at first I started with greens because, as you see, we have a lot of greens in this image. So the first is cyan. As you see, if I drag it on the right, my image started to be more cyan. As you see. But it doesn't look nice for me, so I think I take some sign from this image, maybe I put about minus 35. Take a look what's with magenta. So I also take some magenta, about 35. But I add some yellow, about 40, I think, because I want to, as I said, I want the autumn color. So the yellow is necessary and the blacks. I want to improve my blacks a little, so I put about 20. The next is, we don't need a blues and sans because it's not so much on this image. I think uh, we can try with whites, for example. I want to improve the, the sky a little. Maybe I add some yellow color on the sky and maybe some magenta. But magenta doesn't work so well for me, and the black color also. So go to neutrals. And also in neutrals, I take some cyan to get this warm, uh, very warm actual color. But I take some, but then I take some magenta. Maybe it's this trunk, so about 15. I add some yellow. So, as you see, it's very warm color right now. And I maybe add some blacks, but not too much. Only, add, only about 10, I think. Uh, only about 5, I mean. Then, blacks. It's too strong, so I don't want to add too much blacks. But maybe I add some magenta on the black colors. So right now I think it looks really much better. So the second step is hue saturation. I want to add some lightness. I think about seven is uh, is good, and we can take some saturation. Maybe about minus seven or minus ten. And if you want to, because of course you can add some saturation to add some warm colors or see whatever you want, but I think I take some saturation about minus 10 uh, and that's good. So the next step is curves. At first you need to remember on the left side, on the left very bottom you have shadows on the right side to have highlights I want to add some lightnings lightness I mean so I click right here to up the curves a little then go to red I want to add some red but not too much also then green I want to take some green from the image as you see it's very warm right now so go to blue maybe add some blue I hope it isn't uh, too much. So right now it started to look more interesting. I think it's a little like a vintage effect or something like that. So what can be next? I think gradient map or gradient map were perfect. Uh, this type. You can find some ready-to-use gradient map. 
I think I use uh, this one or this one. I'm not sure. Uh, I think you can find it uh, right here, uh, but I'm not sure what exactly it is. But as you see, it's white color and kind of red or pink color. So OK and change blend mode to soft light. If it's of course too strong, and of course it is too strong, you can put soft light and opacity at 40%. But right now I think we don't have too much contrast, so we can add some contrast per image. So go to brightness and contrast, and I put contrast about 15. And it looks more, but much better for me. So, or maybe it's even too strong. I think it can be too strong a little. So maybe we should add some brightness. About put contrast about 40. Or whatever you prefer. Maybe you prefer the image without contrast, but I think um, contrast helps a lot. So let's try to create a result right here. And if we want to add some uh, more contrast to add some details to this image, go to other, I mean filter, other and high pass, then change blend mode to soft light. As you see, we add some details to this image. Maybe not too much, but uh, I think it looks much better right now. So what I think we can add. And again, I want to try with selective color. And take a look. I want to add some blacks on the yellows. Some magenta, but not too much. As you see, our image is uh, has much more contrast uh, right now. If it's too strong, you can change opacity a little. So after selective color, if the image has too much uh, colors for you, if it's too colorful, you can go to vibrance and take some vibrance for the image maybe about 10 uh, so maybe it looks a little better uh, so i think it's all guys uh, take a look uh, that was our image before editing and that's how it looks right now after editing i think it looks interesting so as i said before i hope you guys enjoy and see you in the next photoshop tutorial thank you